When buying a car, you need to take into account that among the owners of the old five, there are many young people who are not burdened with extra funds. Having spent money on joining the world of BMW by buying an old car, they try not to remember about regular maintenance, but they light up their cars to the fullest. Although there are many among the owners of the E28 and those who appreciate the reliability and survivability of these cars, the main pride of this model is the enviable endurance of gasoline engines. Even with the mileage far beyond 200,000 kilometers, during diagnostics, they demonstrate excellent condition. The most successful experts call the M20 engines 2.0 and 2.5 liters. Their resource before the first overhaul may well approach the mark of 500,000 kilometers. But this cannot be said about the diesel, especially turbo diesel, versions of the 5. Service workers note that they often fail due to overheating of the cylinder head. The reason is a malfunction of the thermostat or viscous coupling of the cooling fan. In general, it will not be possible to save much money on a 20-year-old car with this engine. More often there are cars equipped with the 5-speed manual gearbox. According to service workers, with regular oil changes, interval, 30,000 kilometers, you won't have to look into it. The suspension is durable enough. If you believe the mechanics, masters of specialized service stations, subject to a complete overhaul and the purchase of high-quality parts, the next intervention in this unit will be needed after 80,000 kilometers. True, for modifications with multi-liter and heavy engines, the suspension brakes faster. All fives are equipped with power steering. Unfortunately, on copies of the first years of production, a leak is often found, which is treated by simply replacing the gaskets. The braking systems of all fives are effective, however, parking brake on most cars does not function. Its adjustment requires a qualified approach, so most owners prefer to turn a blind eye to this problem. This car serves faithfully under two conditions, an unkilled copy was originally bought and its regular maintenance was carried out. In this case, even 20 years of age is not a hindrance to the trouble-free operation of the machine. But if you come across a worn-out car, it will become a vacuum cleaner, constantly emptying your wallet. Mitsubishi Sigma 1991 to 1996. Sigma first appeared on the market with the sedan body, index F16, and only in 1993, a station wagon was offered to buyers, which was produced in Australia. It is extremely rare in our country. The ratio of station wagons and sedans is approximately 110. In the same 1993, wanting to somewhat update the look of the model, the creators carried out a slight restyling. However, only the front part of the car was modernized in which the light optics, bumper, and radiator grill were changed. The pleasure of active driving can also be obtained at the wheel of a solid business class sedan. True, it will not be cheap. This confirms the experience of operating the Mitsubishi Sigma, which is a kind of synthesis of a family sedan and a sports coupe, which, unfortunately, refuses to forgive the mistakes of its owners. Thanks to an impressive wheelbase and a good layout, the interior of the car turned out to be spacious. All Sigma which are presented on our market, are well equipped. Cars without air conditioning are almost never found. On many models, climate control was installed, which until 1993 was equipped with mechanical control, by means of rotary controls, and later with electronic control, activated using buttons, with a monochrome display mounted on the center console. By the way, climate control can be considered virtually the only source of possible problems with onboard electronics. Sometimes contacts are broken in the control unit, which can manifest itself in arbitrary switching on and off or changing the operating modes of the air conditioning system. The problem is solved by disassembling the block and restoring, soldering, the damaged contacts. However, when buying, you should be very careful. Sometimes dishonest sellers remove the dashboard and simply turn off the diagnostic lamps of various systems or connect their contacts to one serviceable one. However, such tricks are sometimes resorted to when selling other expensive foreign cars. As a result, all indicator lights turn on when the ignition is turned on, and go out after the start, while many of them should inform about malfunctions of certain systems, for example, an inoperative ABS system or insufficient oil level in the steering rack versions for WS. So a thorough diagnosis when buying is essential. Sigmas are usually not affected by corrosion. In the absence of an accident past, it will not be easy to find traces of rust even on copies of the first years of production. Since the Sigma was at the top of the Mitsubishi lineup, it was not equipped with low-power motors. For her, 
3.0 liter gasoline engines with 12 or 24 valve cylinder heads were provided. The timing is equipped with hydraulic compensators, which eliminates the need to adjust the thermal clearances of the valves. The 24 valve unit provides better dynamics, 8s to 100 km h versus 9 for a 12 valve unit, but, according to the mechanics, its repair costs 2 to 3 times more. Yes, and its fuel consumption is slightly higher. In urban mode, a 12 valve engine consumes up to 12 liters per 100 km, a 24 valve engine consumes up to 15 liters. Serious repairs may be required only if the owner neglects the recommendations of the automaker. With normal maintenance, the motors easily nourish 400 to 500,000 kilometers, and even later, in most cases, it may only be necessary to replace the rings and valve seals for a more expensive 24-valve engine. This operation, taking into account work, will cost $750, 800. Usually maintenance is limited to regular oil changes, timing belt, and rollers. The last procedure is performed every 100,000 kilometers, work in spare parts, $180. Moreover, the work itself costs about $80, it is not easy to get to the timing drive. In a 24-valve engine, along with the belt, you need to change its hydraulic tensioner, note, $80. Other problems include burnout of the exhaust manifold on 12-valve engines after 120 to 150,000 kilometers as well as sometimes a failing oil pressure sensor, spare part, $30. Malfunctions like oil leaks or leaks in the cooling system are found only on thoroughly tired copies of the first years of production. The front-wheel drive Sigma for the European market was equipped with a 5-speed manual and a 4-speed automatic. Both units serve faithfully, subject to careful operation and regular oil changes. The interval for both transmissions is 40,000 kilometers. If the temperament of a motorist does not allow him to move except on the principle of gas to the floor, you need to prepare a thicker wallet. There are several weak points in the mechanical box, bearings, gears and the fifth gear synchronizer can fly. Treatment of the unit will cost about $500. If the rumble in the box does not prompt the idea to make repairs in time, it will have to be changed entirely. By the way, even a used node costs $700 to $1,000. The automatic transmission also does not forgive a disregard. First of all, the package of fourth gear clutches burns out in it, the cost of a repair kit is $100. If a more serious repair is ahead, experts recommend replacing the entire assembly with a use one. The fact is that a serious intervention in the box will cost about $1,200, and units are transported from Japan that depart only one-third, one-half of their resource, and they cost $700, $1,200. The Sigma suspension was built for active riding, although hard it cannot be called. A compromise option seems to be a hydropneumatic suspension, in which the performance characteristics automatically change depending on the speed and road surface. But it has significant drawbacks, fragility during operation on our roads and the high cost of spare parts. For example, only the front shock absorber costs $400, and you need to change it entirely, since it is not reparable. The price of a compressor. $900, and a receiver, $900, can significantly overshadow the joy of the owner of such a comfortable suspension. The only way out for those who are not ready for such expenses is to replace the hydropneumatics with conventional shock absorbers along with sprays. Otherwise, the usual Sigma suspension behaves like on many other Japanese. Every 40,000 kilometers, it will be necessary to replace the front stabilizer struts, $15, and its bushings, $5. For 10,000 kilometers, the silent blocks of the front levers serve more, for four pieces, $120. A little less often, it becomes necessary to replace the ball bearings, one PC, $25. Conventional shock absorbers are capable of moving away for more than 150,000 kilometers. The rear suspension, despite the multi-link design, can be called indestructible. The steering mechanism, as a rule, does not cause trouble. The steering rack can only lose tightness on fairly traveled specimens. Many owners ignore this problem, limiting themselves to periodic topping up of oil. But if the leak intensifies, you will have to use a $70 repair kit. The top versions of Sigma have one feature, the 4WS rear wheel turning mechanism. Such modifications are distinguished by enviable handling and stability even when passing sharp turns. The steering rack is also installed at the back. Despite the design complexity, 
the assembly is quite reliable, and only steering tips $30, may require replacement. Moreover, the rear steering rack is equipped with an oil level sensor. SHRUS $80 can suffer from excessively active driving on our roads. The braking system requires special attention. The danger lurks in the ABS sensors, used $75. The reason for their breakdown is rough handling during repair work, attempts to put the ball joint in place with the hammer, etc. So even when replacing pads with gray service stations, it makes sense to be personally present during the work. The pads themselves need to be changed with a run of 30,000 kilometers, front to 70,000, rear. By the way, Sigma is equipped with ventilated brake discs both front and rear. So, the Sigma is far from being the most economical car. Rather, this is an option for those who often have to travel more than one and at the same time want to enjoy the dynamics and handling of a sports coupe. And most importantly, he is ready to take care of his four-wheeled friend or is simply not constrained by means. Ford Connect. This machine is equally well suited for business, household, and outdoor activities, which, by the way, is evidenced by the name Connect, from English, Connect, Connect. But is it worth getting involved with second-hand copies of it? The Connect model is built on the global Ford C170 platform, on which the first-generation Focus was created. The Pyrzhawk was equipped with the same powertrains and gearboxes as the Focus, but its chassis and body elements are completely original. By the way, the characteristic step of the windowsill line on the front doors reminds of Connect's relationship with the older Transit Brothers, minibuses and trucks. Connect is manufactured by Ford Turkey at the Otosin plant. Commercial versions, cargo and cargo passenger, are called Transit Connect, and more expensive passenger versions are called Tourneo Connect. The former are equipped only with rear hinge doors, while the latter are equipped with both vest and a rear lifting door. Trucks can only have two front side doors, as well as one, only on the right, or two rear sliding doors, with outside and rear glazing or with such, and a metal partition is installed behind the front seats, separating the passenger and cargo parts of the cabin. Passenger and freight versions are distinguished by richer equipment, the presence of side windows and glass in the rear doors and there is trim in the rear of the cabin and a second row of seats is installed. Passenger versions of the Tornillo Connect are best equipped, and in the richest trim levels you can find rain and light sensors, folding tables in the backs of the front seats, a third row of seats, shelves for small items not only above the windshield, but also on the ceiling, rear parking sensors, alloy wheels are 16, side airbag, ESP stability control and EBD brake force distribution. By the way, among the Connect imported from abroad, there are often copies converted from cargo versions, which clever businessmen pass off as passenger ones. Customs clearance of trucks is cheaper, and they are sold at a price corresponding to more expensive modifications. The body's resistance to corrosion is generally not bad, but rust can still appear in some places. For versions with stamped discs with branded caps on the inside, these caps break during operation and unpleasantly knock while driving. Salon Pie is very spacious. The decoration uses hard plastic, which eventually begins to creak, and the sound insulation is rather weak. However, this is typical of many commercial vehicles of various brands. The second row seats can be split 50 colon 50 or 60 colon 40. To increase the trunk, they can be folded, although they are not removable. Only third row seats are removed from the passenger compartment, offered as an option on long wheelbase versions. For those who care about the extra liters of the cargo compartment, we recommend a more capacious long wheelbase modification. Its trunk is huge, 1800-4400 liters. Most used connects are equipped with turbo diesel engines. Motorists note that diesel engines with the common rail system are very sensitive to fuel quality and demanding on the level of service. However, this applies not only to Ford engines, but also to common rail engines from all other manufacturers. For example, even a harmless fuel filter change performed by unskilled mechanics can lead to problems with the fuel injection system starting or operating. On common rail turbo diesels, before restyling in 2007, fuel injectors did not differ in durability. Later, the manufacturer changed the supplier, and the new nozzles turned out to be much more enduring. Low-quality fuel also disables exhaust gas recirculation EGR, valves. Moreover, in the original, the valve is changed only with the intake manifold, spare part, about 5,000 UAH. The rubber air cooling pipes of the fuel injection system, from the turbine to the intake manifold, 
are not very reliable either, they often crack. However, turbines, when properly maintained, serve without problems. After 100,000 kilometers, the gasket of the oil pump housing may lose its tightness. A less common gasoline unit has proven itself to be unpretentious, durable, and during operation it is less troublesome than with solar, brothers. There may be problems with the thermostat and valve-covered gasket, leak, and high-voltage wires. A common problem in gasoline and diesel engines is the leakage of working fluid due to loose self-tightening clamps of the cooling system. The timing on all units is driven by a belt, which, together with the rollers on gasoline engines, is recommended to be changed after 120,000 km, and on turbo diesels, after 160,000 km, the dates for original parts are indicated. At the same time, it is necessary to check the thermal clearances of the valves on gasoline and turbo diesel units. Although in practice, as a rule, they are regulated during the repair of the cylinder head. Weaknesses of the car Inversions without remote control of the central lock, the key wears out over time. It has to be changed to a new branded one, and a mobilizer is built into it. On versions up to 2005, the bracket for attaching the stabilizer strut to the rear beam burst along the weld. On older cars, door brackets and hinges are broken, which is manifested by a characteristic knock when driving over bumps. The rubber pipes for cooling the air of the fuel injection system are cracking. Modernized branch pipes are produced, although they are enough for two to three years. Time tested. All connects are front-wheel drive and only come with a manual transmission. This unit with the MTX-75 index was also used on many other Ford models, and all the shortcomings were eliminated in it a long time ago. Although there are still some characteristic malfunctions in the mechanics, see, resource and repair. Over time, a weakening of the clamps for fastening the rubber anthers of the outer CB joints was noted, and due to the ingress of moisture and sand, the grenades may fail. This is manifested by a characteristic crunch when the wheels are turned to the side. The hydraulic clutch actuation usually works without problems. Thanks to its durable leaf-sprung rear suspension, the Connect has a high load capacity. In practice, long wheelbase versions are capable of carrying loads weighing 1.5 tons. Rigid but strong the Connect chassis is stiff. Mainly for this you should thank the rear semi-independent suspension, equipped with springs. But with these hardy damping elements, high, has a high load capacity. An independent is used ahead, McPherson. The anti-roll bar is installed front and rear. On our roads, the suspension has proven to be quite durable. Most often, after 50,000 kilometers, you will have to change the bushings of both stabilizers and the rear strut, similar parts of the front end last longer, 80,000 kilometers. Ball bearings can withstand a run of 80 to 100,000 kilometers, and silent blocks of the front levers, up to 200,000 kilometers. The rear suspension is considered indestructible. Rack and pinion steering on all connects is hydraulically boosted. This unit is not tight enough, leaks of the system pipelines are noted at the junction of the rubber pipe with the metal rolling, and connection to the rail. By a run of 100,000 kilometers, the gear rack engagement appears, knocking when driving through bumps, and the rack oil seals leak. A knock in the rail is not so terrible, according to the assurances of the mechanics you can still ride with it for a very long time, but if the seals leak, the rail will need to be repaired. Domestic craftsmen have learned how to restore rails well, which after repair can often last even longer than new ones. The mechanics have no complaints about the braking system of this car. Ford Connect is a fairly popular car in its class. Its important advantages compared to many competitors are a large cargo compartment and high load capacity and a durable rear leaf spring suspension contributes to confident transportation of heavy loads. When buying this car, it is worth remembering that it was primarily created for commercial purposes, so you should not expect much comfort from it. At the same time, it is successfully used not only for business, but also for solving household problems in the family and outdoor activities. The main complaints relate to powertrains and steering, during operation they can cause problems, although the mechanics of branded service stations know them well and can easily deal with them. 